Humans first appeared on planet Earth around 3 lakh years ago. By that time, dinosaurs had already been extinct for 6.5 crore years and mammoths still roamed the earth. Life for humans at the time was hard, but nothing out of the ordinary. Some 2 lakh 25,000 years into the future, human lives would turn for the worse. This is the story of Mount Toba, the largest volcanic eruption since the existence of humans on Earth. In the North Sumatra province, on the island of Sumatra, in Indonesia lies Lake Toba. With a surface elevation of about 900 meters, the lake is about 100 kilometers long, 30 kilometers wide, and up to 505 meters deep. This makes Lake Toba the largest lake in Indonesia and the largest volcanic lake in the world. At this exact same place around 75,000 years ago, a supervolcano with volcanic explosivity index of 8 erupted, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. About 2800 cubic kilometers of volcanic materials like lava and ash were released during the eruption. Around 20000 square kilometer of the area around the volcano was directly destroyed by the lava flow and ash deposits as thick as 600 meters covered the entire region. The exact year of the eruption is unknown, but it is suggested that it occurred during the northern summer. The eruption would have lasted 2 weeks, but the ensuing volcanic winter which dropped the global temperature by 3 to 5 degrees celsius would have lasted for several years scientists believe that this event caused a global volcanic winter of 6 to 10 years and possibly a 1000 year long cooling episode various theories have been put forward on the impact of volcano on humans animals and vegetation all these theories are generally categorized as toba catastrophe theory according to this theory The eruption caused a genetic bottleneck in human evolution which may have resulted in a severe reduction in the size of total human population due to the eruption's effects on the global climate. It is said that between 50,000 and 1 lakh years ago, human population sharply decreased to 3,000 to 10,000 surviving individuals. Even genetic evidences suggest that today's humans descended from a tiny population of between 1,000 and 10,000 breeding pairs that existed about 70,000 years ago. Very few plants or animals in Southeast Asia would have survived and it is possible that the eruption caused a planet-wide die-off. It is said that the eruption of the volcano directly or indirectly resulted in the population decline of archaic humans who became extinct soon after the eruption. Evidence also suggests that the population of the eastern African chimpanzees, orangutans, central Indian macaque, cheetah and tigers all recovered from a very small population around 70,000 to 55,000 years ago. The eruption resulted in a global ecological disaster including the destruction of vegetation along with severe drought in the tropical rainforest belt and monsoonal regions. A 10-year volcanic winter triggered by the eruption could have largely destroyed the food sources of humans and caused a severe reduction in population sizes. However, the Toba catastrophe theory which states that the volcano reduced the size of human population is not widely accepted by the scientific community. Paleontology and anthropology suggest that there was no population bottleneck. There was no reduction in the population of other animals and plants, which wouldn't have been the case if the volcano had caused massive destruction. It is even said that the archaic humans are certain to have survived until after 30,000 years ago and perhaps until as recently as 12,000 years ago, invalidating the theory that the Toba eruption caused the extinction. Even the volcanic winter hypothesis, which said that the global temperature dropped by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius, was criticized. Some scientists believe that the global cooling was already underway at the time of the eruption and that estimates of a drop in surface temperature by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius are probably too high and the temperatures would have dropped by only 1 degree Celsius. Scientists also examined the sediments of Lake Malawi in East Africa which is 4000 kilometers away from the eruption site to correlate the effect of eruption on the rest of the earth and found no changes in the composition of the sediments that would indicate a significant dip in the temperatures. Scientists now conclude that the Toba theory was a popular one a few years ago but more recent studies have led more researchers to move on from the subject it was an exciting idea when it was first suggested but it just hasn't really been borne out by subsequent advances today lake toba is a popular tourist spot it was recognized in july 2020 as one of the unesco global geo parks due to its beautiful landscape and cultural richness we may never know what exactly happened thousands of years ago but the volcano show changed a certain aspect of the place from a fuming volcanic mountain to a lush green natural lake